Documentation is a critical component in the practice of many social workers, whether it be case notes, client treatment plans, or information required for performing a biopsychosocial assessment. Written records are the best evidence that the social worker is providing services. Therefore, it is essential to consider clients' interests, social workers' professional activities, and relevant agency requirements. Mishnah, Levine, Wogo, and Lee, 2013. The NASW Code of Ethics states that a social worker should only document information relevant to the service provided and keep records for a reasonable time. NASW 3.04 Client Records It is also essential to understand that this has implications for the nature of the relationship with the client. From a client's perspective, the idea of documentation can be very unsettling due to the general assumption that all information gathered will be documented and the fear that information that could be potentially damaging could be recorded. This can impair a client's trust in a social worker and may cause the client to restrict the amount of information that is shared due to the concern of what may later become a matter of record. This makes it necessary for a social worker to weigh the importance of documenting information with the impact that it will have on the given client and must continuously assess whether the information obtained is worth any implications on the relationship. The NASW Code of Ethics states, social workers should respect clients' right to privacy. Social workers should not solicit private information from clients unless it is essential to providing services or conducting social work evaluation or research. Once private information is shared, standards of confidentiality apply. NASWE 1.07 Privacy and Confidentiality This signifies that even though a social worker may inquire further and gather more information on the client to help, there are limits to what you can ask. This also makes it essential that the social worker knows and understands when it is necessary to document information and when it is not. The overall goal of this section was to give an idea of how privacy and confidentiality affect the relationship between a social worker and a client. Clients' personal information during a professional relationship should be kept in confidence. It is an essential principle and a crucial client right, impacting the relationship's nature. Because privacy is an individual right, it is connected to an individual's capacity to manage his or her life in his or her community, free from interference from other individuals or the government. Privacy provides the freedom from unreasonable access to oneself and the right to control the quality and nature of one's life. Informational privacy is the right to maintain information about oneself.